Hey, what's up? Welcome to the morning hack. I really could just sleep all day and party all night. <laughs> uh, not quite, <laughs> but it's definitely Monday. Uh, and um, I'm like, what the heck, man? I feel like I really worked yesterday. Um, but that would be because we picked apples and I, I did more. Here's Aiden in a, in a Jeep getting the apples. Um, <laughs> we picked what we could and then my mom's like, we'll drive the Jeep over and uh, stand on it, which did give us a few more feet. So we got lots and lots and lots of apples and two containers of apple crisp and applesauce out of it. I mean a ton. So no wonder I feel like this. Oh my gosh. Um, my hands. My hands feel like they cut a lot of apples. I even have an apple peeler, but you know, then you got to cut out the spots. Being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it means that you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. Let's, re let's repeat that for the people still asleep. Being happy doesn't mean that everything's perfect. It means that you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. Yeah, it's like it's like you've just decided to focus on love, peace, and joy, regardless if it's less than perfect, truly. That now, ironically, that's like a perfect picture <laughs> down there that really, you know, taken by a drone, obviously, because you know, how else would you do that? All right, so anyways, I like that. I like that idea. Let's see if it goes with our another day, another day, Lee Art. I mean, you got to look for the good stuff. Woman with a spray of flowers. A spray of flowers. Oh, I like her. There was an old lady in my dream last night, and she always every week bought this round mandala of uh, the same color petals of flowers uh, laid on her table. I'd never seen one before. And then 30 flowers for her vase. I don't know why I remember that detail about my dream, but that's what she did. And um, it was an interesting night of dreams. That is for damn sure. Oh, what's he, what's he do? What is this? We almost don't even see these guys. Down here. Oh, he don't look so sad. He's got to look past the imperfections. Um. All right. So tell me about this. It's an unknown artist. Uh, maybe fifteen seventy five. Wow. On this detached album folio created in the sixteenth century, Iran. I was thinking it was Chinese. That's so funny, but. Um, okay, Iran, we see a beautiful woman with a spray of flowers. The painting is set in gold, green, and blue rollings on a paper with floral motifs. Marginal cartouches, or is it car touches? <laughs> uh, two couple, okay, a little bit of hard words here for Sadie this morning. So you see them, you can read them. Kneeling youths, the verses in the border seem integral to the composition. They imply the yearning of the lover represented by the two kneeling youths in the upper and lower corners of the folio for the beloved. How long are you going to wound me with grief? Keep me wondering in the lane of separation. If in the end you will raise me from dust, why do you cast me away like an arrow? Oh, girl, it is beautiful. Um, I really, I really need uh, this opaque watercolor and gold on paper. I really feel like she should, you know, being happy doesn't mean that everything's perfect you know, look beyond the imperfections, but she's saying like, she is really heartbroken. How long are you going to wound me with grief? You mother trucker. Just keep me over here wondering in this lane of separation. You just like have me outcast over here wondering. 
I don't know what you're going to do. If in the end you say you love me and care for me and you would raise me from dust, oh yeah, why don't you, why do you cast me away now like a freaking arrow? Yeah, no wonder she's feeling it. <laughs> no wonder she's feeling it. But in this picture, you know, she seems to be holding her shit together and I appreciate that about her. All right, so anyways, or wait, maybe it's from him. Maybe these guys are feeling that way. And she's, hmm, which way is this going? (laughs) Anyways, that's your daily art, and those are your words. (laughs) Let's not think about it too much, Sadie. Squat and step back. Ooh, you guys, I think we could do this. Cardio or tone, uh, like I say I hate step high steps, but these are not. These are marching steps, so these won't make me feel as ridiculous. S- 20 marching steps and then a sing- one single leg squat. Yeah, that's all you can do with those. Then do 20 more steps and then do the other side, a leg. 20 steps, do the legs again. Is that it? Why does he look like he's doing something different here? Squat. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's a step up and knee up. Step back and knee up. All right, you're going to have to, if you're doing this, you're going to have to not rely on me to instruct you today. But it definitely gets right where I was just putting lotion. I got up in my underwear. The sun's coming in the window. I spy the sun on my butt cheeks and I was like, oh my God, please put some lotion on your butt cheeks. You're start, your butt's starting to look old. <laughs> you barely need any space for this office bound cardio routine. Okay. So there ain't no reason, Sadie, you should probably just do it and uh, be done with it. All right. So um, let's get a tarot card. Today's card. Oh, no. This is not our card today. <laughs> this is not our card today, is it? Um, cunning, trickery, deceit. We've had this card before. Um, did you trick somebody? Did you get tricked by somebody else? Is somebody lying, keeping secrets, maneuvering scenes behind your back? Maybe you need to do something alone today. Okay, I do like that for the Monday message. Maybe, Maybe we'll keep it. Maybe we'll decide not to get involved. Okay, maybe we'll keep it. A person in this role acts alone. Yeah, maybe it's like somebody's sneaking off, hiding the truth, and we decide we're not going to get involved. We're just going to do our workout and put lotion on our butt. Yeah, and go with the flow. Not sure. But anyways, it is pretty. It's very fall. I feel like we just had this. Um, So I don't know how random today's card is. Every once in a while, we pick our own card, but today I don't care. Today I don't care. Oh, I gotta get back to hoe this morning. I'd have to decide am I drinking celery juice or not? Ooh, a chant for peace. I love this. So, yesterday I, I read in the morning chapter five of A Course in Miracles. Now, I'm putting them on my YouTube channel, even though I know nobody here really wants it, <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. And it talked a lot about peace and joy and love yesterday. Today is International Day of Peace. Oh, I knew that actually, that September 21st was. I've, rem- I've remembered this from before. So this is a chant. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Um, Nam Mayoha Ranje Kayo. Now, Nam means dedication. Mayo, 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 Mayo means wonderful, and Ho is the law. Renji, Renji is a what? I see. I'm a little lost today. It refers to the lotus, and Kayo means sutra or teaching. Repeat these words throughout the day as a reminder to be at peace with yourself. You'd have to write them down if you're like me because I've already forgotten them. And um, bring peace into the world. Like We want to think about bringing ourselves at peace, 
our lives at peace, all the lives in the world at peace. So this phrase isn't magical, it doesn't have any mystical powers, the power is within you. So it really does not matter what words you say as long as you're focusing on peace. Chanting these words awakens a divinity in you and empowers you to be the best version of yourself you can be. It is simple yet profound. So, Namayorenjekayo. Maybe something like that, or um, just like under your breath, like Namayorenjekayo, and it'll change every time with me. <laughs> but what won't change is the fact that yeah. I would love to be more peaceful myself. I would love everyone to feel more peace inside of them. And of course, I wish peace for the world. So anyway, today's International Day of Peace. Do your part. Um, Feel good and feel peaceful and feel love. And those are the closest feelings, you know, the highest feelings you can get. The closest you get to divinity is through peace and love and joy. All right, on that note, you guys have a great day. I think we did everything. Now I'm just going to drink something, drink some type of liquid and go over and see and keep an eye. This was yesterday. There's Arcturian support all around you. That was yesterday. But if Daniel wants to run late today, I'm cool with that too. (laughs) All right, you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. Peace. It's International Peace Day on the 21st. Love, magic, joy, light, laughter. Let that guide your way. Have a great Monday, guys. See ya.